Shalom brethren, praise to our Lord Jesus Christ. Responsorial Psalm on the fourth Sunday of Advent in liturgical year A, Psalms 24. Psalms 24 is attributed to David. It is one of the three successive Psalms which are considered messianic. That is Psalms 22, 23 and then 24. In the Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 39, Jesus declared that the Old Testament scriptures were about himself. However, Messianic Psalms, in large part, albeit prophetic, speak about our Lord Jesus Christ. Psalms 22 is the psalm where Christ intoned on the cross during his passion. It might sound like a lament on the start, but not how it ends. He who is God has done it. Psalms 23, probably the most common of all Psalms, Jesus fulfills the message by referring to himself as the Good Shepherd. That is in John chapter 10, verse 11 to 18. I am the Good Shepherd. Psalm 24, which we are considering now, is about the crown, Jesus the King. Being the responsorial psalm on the last Sunday of Advent in liturgical year A, it sets our hearts to receive the Messiah, our Lord Jesus Christ, who, as per our liturgical calendar, we commemorate his birth during Christmas, his daily coming into our lives, and also in anticipating his second coming as the King of the Universe the King of Glory. The psalm opens by acknowledging Jesus as the Creator and the Lord of all creation, including ourselves. With this, it will serve us well to receive the Lord into our hearts and let Him rule our lives. According to the psalmist words, we are not worthy to go before the Lord God. Who can enter His holy place? Who can ascend his holy mountain? None of us is qualified. Our actions are not right. Our intentions are hardly pure. And our desires are set in vain. On our own, we can never measure up to the required standards of holiness. Are we not glad that Jesus met this threshold of holiness and was able to ascend to the mountain of the Lord at Calvary, but more so enter into God's holy place in heaven. To us who seek his face in truth, through his grace we are imputed with Jesus' righteousness and can go before the Lord God. That is such a great blessing. But again, the reality is we are not the ones going to God's holy place. It is God himself who is making the move and moving man back to himself. Why then will I not open my heart and receive him? With due reference to the preceding first reading, the prophecy of Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 is fulfilled when Blessed Virgin Mary accepted and opened herself to the Holy Spirit to become the mother of Jesus Christ. We too should open our hearts and receive the Lord. He is Emmanuel, God with us. May the Lord dwell in our hearts and may he be glorified in us. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. Amen.